Uh, the next piece I'll show here, and this is the full demonstration of the golden image. This was the image that we, uh, we, we started with. Remember, I'll, I'll mark it as golden here. And then let's pretend like six months go by again. We got to do some more pretending. Uh, six months have gone by and somebody, you know, accidentally on third shift, the poor third shift guys, I blame them for everything. You know, if someone's on third shift, I apologize. I have nothing against it. Just it's very, very convenient. Um, I'll go ahead and, and just change some of these settings here. I'll go ahead and go live and you'll see that it's, it's wow, that looks horrible. And, you know, my tools might pass still, but um, oh, there it is. All right. So it's still there. I'm like, man, this is just a horrible image. This, this can't be right. All right. So we have something called golden image compare. So if I come over here to uh, my three little dot icon over here, you'll see we have this little icon that's actually golden, right? We we uh, we took feedback and we made it golden based off of feedback, so people knows it stands out. I'll click on it. It's called image compare. Basically, all the golden images that I've selected will show up here and say, "Hey, which one do you want to use as a reference?" Right. So this was the image I used for setup. I'll go ahead and click on it. I'll hit next. It's gonna give me a side by side comparison. All right. It's gonna say, "Hey, this is what it looked like when you set it up six months ago." Here's what it looks like today. Now, just visually looking at it, right out of the gates, I could say, wow, that looks awful, tremendously different, right? It's much brighter. It's totally out of focus. So now I have a clue where to go in and start making adjustments, right? So a quick visual inspection, I could say, wow, that, that's crazy. If someone bumped the camera, you know, I'll have a different orientation of what the part looked like. Uh, this is this is cool. Also could use as an optical comparator, right? So let's say that uh, my system has failed. And I want the operator to say, hey, is this really a failed part? I could use as a, this is what the, the current image is. Here's what this one is. And you can see they're linked together. So I, I can move this, drag it around. The, the images will move side by side and say, say hey, is this really a, a defect over here? Right? I, could, I could play around and do those sorts of things. Things. So there's a lot of cool features and functionalities and, and things you can glean out of, out, of, out of using this particular golden image compare. This is the first iteration of it. Okay, So uh, eventually you'll be able to go into live view here and this panel, panel here will turn live so I can move the camera and try to make it look and adjust to what's over here on the left hand side. We're also going to have some things where we try to guess and figure out what happened, right? So we might say, hey, you know, this is way brighter over here. You know, we want to make sure you might, you might want to check and turn down your exposure. We're also going to have something called the golden job compare. What that's going to do is basically say, hey, it's going to look at the settings that were over here, compare it to the settings that are currently and say, hey, man, someone moved your focus way out. Do you want to revert it? And they give you a box. You can hit yes, and they'll revert it right back to where it was before. Or someone increased your exposure time to an unbelievably high level. Do you want to set it back? And I could click yes, and it would move it back to where the golden job was as well. So a lot of enhancements. This is the easy to easy to run, easy to maintain functionality that we're trying to do. Uh, we when we visited uh, partners and we visited end users with a lot of you partners. Well, we visit a lot of places where things are in bypass, right? So you have systems where people have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to get systems up and running, trying to do things. And, and integrators have gone and done a tremendous job, but over time, things have fallen apart. You know, people can't figure out why something's broken or can't get it back running. And this is where tools like this golden image, right? It's simple. I click a button. I can visually see that my image is, is really bad now. And now I could go start making adjustments. I know where to begin to troubleshoot, right? I could get the system back up and running as fast as possible by using a tool like this. And we're trying to bring out all sorts of tools that, that do this, right? So this is just one of the many. I kind of wanted to show that we, we like this. If you, if you are with customers or your, your, your end users, demonstrate this. This is a, a very, very good demo. You'll probably do a better job than I did on it, but you'll, you'll, you'll still have uh, some great power. People will leave that meeting and be like, man, that's, that's pretty different. That's pretty cool. You know, I, I think the zebra stuff's really neat. So hopefully you had that same experience when you saw it for the first time and probably you're not seeing it for the first time. So, but just wanted to point that out, what that looks like uh, and, and, and how that, that, that is accomplished, right? So that is kind of what the, the golden image uh, looks like. So. Thank you.